have to do the median auto February wrap up. It's important. It's a bit late, but gotta get this done. And before I get into the list, I have to notify you guys very sadly that there has been an imposter who is taking over the Medianardo series. Do not listen to this guy. His reviews are fake. They are not real. He is an imposter. He is acting suspiciously. And he is taking the concept right from under my ears. You cannot let this happen, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the wrap up. Number 15, the worst, unfortunately, the worst thing I've rated. Don the two with a score of 5.5. .5. As you guys can see, this is a little bit of a different layout than the um, than the the first video due to community uh, outreach and feedback. I've decided to do a ranking. So has it's a 5.5. It is average 2.34 below the normal average. And it's the second worst album, 40th out of the 41 I've listened to. It's not a great, it's not a good Kanye album. For Kanye, it's not a good album. He has like one or two good of his own like parts, but then the rest is carried by features. It, it, it is not a good album. Uh, number 14, Central Intelligence, uh, 6.5, which is 0 0.96 below. This is a funny movie, but it's only funny in the fact that it throws so many jokes at you that it would be depressing if one of them didn't hit. You know what I mean? It's like, and some of them do hit. Uh, it's ranked 44th out of 57, so it's pretty low. It's not a great movie, but it was pretty funny. And uh, Jesse Pinkman. Number thirteen, Rebel Without a Cause, the the film the the the, the film entry from IB Film. Uh, this has a score of seven point five, and it's just above the movie average. Uh, it's a decent movie. Um, middle of the park at thirty four, maybe a bit under. Um, the way I'd describe it as an interesting look into the nineteen fifties, but. The 1950s were extremely lame, if you know what I mean. Like, oh my god, I do not care. Number 12, uh, An Evening with Silk Sonic. This was a good album. I do like this album. But, uh, it feels a bit, it's rated at 7.75, which is a little bit below, a 0 0.09 below the album average. It's ranked 26 out of 41, so it is the lower half of the albums I've listened to, but it's still a good album. It's it's better Bruno Mars, and um, honestly, if it could have been better if it just wasn't just the same old romantic ballads that he does, but it was good. Like, Fly Is Me, I like that song. Uh, stupid um, Epic Gamer the Third hates it. Stupid Nick. Because uh, he has bad taste, but uh, that was the best song. Because it wasn't that; it was pretty, pretty hip hoppy, pretty nice, and I think it was a good representation of what Bruno Mars can do outside of that genre. Number eleven, Sifu, uh, rated an eight, which is zero point two three below. Um, it's a good game. It's ranked nine out of eleven because I've just played a lot of good games recently, so. Um, the gameplay was fun, it was great. Uh, it got a bit easy after a time, but the story was pretty decent. Uh, slow, kind of uneventful, but it wrapped up nicely. And it w the main nitpick I have is the game was too short. That was a big problem. Number 10, Peacemaker 8. 
0.53 below not to say that this is a bad show at all this is a great show it, it's not an amazing story it's a pretty good story but the comedy elements and the characters were all pretty good despite a few issues with the implementation of the arcs within the narrative but it was a great show and um the only reason it's so below the average is because I've watched so many base shows. Number 9, Kid A. Uh, score of 8, 0 0.16 album average, rank 21. Uh, as you may have been seeing, these like some of the scores are like the same. Like The past three have all been 8s. I'm just, at this point, just reading them off like very, very minimal like preferences between the two. Um, this album was good. It was cool as an experience, but um, it is way too experimental to listen, like many of the songs to listen on its own. Um, it is, you cannot listen to this album by itself. It is, no, that's not. Um, but there are some few songs like How to Disappear Completely and Motion Picture Soundtrack that do work very well on its own. Number eight, Fire Force, crazy manga. It's a 8.25, which is just barely below the average at a 0 0.04. It's ranked five out of seven out of the uh, comics and manga that I've read. It's inconsistent. It g flip flops from being crazy good to weirdly cringe, extremely cringe, very quickly. And it takes a while for it to start like picking up narratively but it does work um and it's very crazy unique and enjoyable it was a very very interesting ending uh definitely worth checking out if you have the patience to sit do sit through like 150 chapters which is pretty quick but maybe like an hour or two two hours maybe no not two hours probably like three hours uh melodic blue baby game good album 8.25, 0 0.41 above the album average. 16 out of 41, this was a great album. Um, there's a lot of really good songs in this album. Some of them were pretty mid, but uh, lots of great features, good production, good overall sound. I think it had a lot of variation between the songs. Um, but it was great, great album. I, I don't really know what to say other than that, but yeah, it was great. Legend of Vox Machina. Uh, I've been watching Critical Role since season two was around like episode 30, um, so like a few years now. But uh, this was a really good adaptation. F or I didn't watch season one. So I don't really know what happened in the story then, but like comparing it to like what, how like generally it's presented within the show, I think it was a great adaptation. I gave it a 0 0.825, which is just below, but it's still a great show. Um, it's ranked six out of eight. Uh, it's a bit rushed. It's a great adaptation. And I hope that the next seasons do. A great job of um, ad adapting it as well. There's a season two coming out next year, maybe. So we'll see. Uh, number five, Pandora Hearts. Um, this one I read because it was going crazy on TikTok. Like, oh my God, so many people were talking about it on TikTok. At least uh, in the circle that like some of the people I follow are on. Um, I gave it an 8.5, which is a great score, which is slightly above my uh, average. Um, I rank, It's 3 out of 7. It's top 3 within the Medianardo comics section. So it, it, it's at a pretty good place. Um, but the story is very conflicting. I'm very conflicted because I think it's way too convoluted. And way too much is introduced way too early on and I, it does serve to have a really cool plot twist like around two-thirds into the story but it just makes that first 
like those first 70 chapters like impossible to read through like at a steady pace it, it, it was very inconsistent for me to get through and there are like 60 page chapters too so it's like it is like very long and um it does get really good at the end um worth sticking around for but you have to commit yourself man that was that, that was pain um number four ants from up there black country roads probably the first like out there alternative rock album i listened to it's definitely experimental not in the same way that radiohead is but um it was a great album i have it 10 out of 41 um similar to kid a i think it's a lot of songs are not like listenable on their own but as like in within like the context of the album it did fit really well and i thought the way they um executed that was great so if you're a fan of alternative rock definitely check this album out heard it's a contender for album of the year for a lot of people so a lot of people like it too number three back to hip-hop mf doom mm, food uh 0 0.75 uh great album just above answer up there but like this is classic doom this is like the cartoons this is the the dr doom cut uh clips along with like the great production and the solid flow and it just makes a really good album uh lyricism's great uh flow is good production's amazing like it's iconic even to this day you'll see like so many so many the i, I don't know how to describe it it's, it's just like it's like new jabez but like pure hip-hop and not just like R&B, but it's great. Uh, number two, this is the late class entry. I did not think I would like this this much. Um, but this is just like a near perfect story in like every regard. Um, I do think, not near perfect, I thought it was a great story, but um, I currently have it as the my favorite book currently within the media nerdo entries i thought it was great and it delves into a lot of concepts that weren't tackled that much back in like the 40s and 50s and uh, it tackles it really well and it's had like a very interesting dilemma with like like a uh, characters that aren't like that are like not morally good but like it has like an interesting way that like the cast presents itself and um definitely worth a read uh but a uh, trigger warning a bit too many racial slurs uh you know it's it's 1950s in in America so you you're, you're going to have to be prepared uh but uh yeah, that's a uh, who uh, this one goes out to Andy. Uh, uh, number one, most based pick, Omori, nine point five. Second best game I've played. Uh, this is a great game. This is this is a top line JRPG. Peak story, peak humor, peak comedy, peak characters. Uh, haven't played the uh hikikomori route so i haven't experienced all of the gameplay but the story is great um this is a this is based this is a based game this is a dope game uh easily easily one of the best games i've played even like outside of medianardo you know there, there's there was a time outside of medianardo you know and uh even then, I'd still say this game is top three, so definitely worth checking out if you're into the Earthbound-inspired RPG indie games with a um, 
that's an allegory for depression. Definitely worth it. Uh, we got some previous changes uh, going from January. Channel Orange, big boost up. Uh, not in placement. Uh, it doesn't, uh, relatively, it's still not one of my favorite albums, but I do see a lot of good songs in it now. I do appreciate Crack Rock. I think Lost is one of my favorite Frank Ocean songs now. Um, along with Super Rich Kids still being really good, so I think just rating it a seven's like a fair score. Books of Doom, it kind of wore off on me. I didn't, I don't really like it that much. 7.5, or I do like it, but like I don't like some aspects of it. I think like overall it's a good story and it like sets up Doom pretty well, but I'm just not a fan of like the kind of like episodic portrayal of him over time. I think that would, that could have been better. And uh, it feels very one note. I think it could have uh, been a lot more nuanced. You know, we got a lot of stuff coming up, right? There's a lot of things that are finishing in March. So be ready for what I think is one of the most based Medianardo months that you'll see. Stay prepped. We got Ranking of Kings, a certified classic. It's waiting to go up there as one of the best. Attack on Titan. You know, some people ain't gonna like it, but I know that this is gonna be a base ending. Uh, ending is great, okay? I don't wanna hear any slander from any other Absalads or anybody else in the comments when I rate this like a 9 plus, okay? This is gonna be based. Uh, no longer human. Uh, you know, I bought this at a Kino Cunha. Uh, it's good from what I've read. Um, but you'll see, you'll see the score later, you know? I can't spoil it, you know what I mean? It's not fair to those who don't want to be spoiled for Medianardo. I can't do it, so I'm gonna end the video on one note. Do not interact with this imposter with their fake Medianardo. Their Medianardo rip off. This is not no you cannot interact with this guy not fair this red sus imposter do not interact okay so uh medianardo back in march no imposter goodbye absolads it was great uh great being here on the channel absolads are based